Hi, I'm Jen Kramer, a staff author here at O'Reilly Media. I'm looking at four hot new features in Bootstrap 4 Alpha 1. Bootstrap 4 was released in its alpha form back in mid-August. Watch it for a few more alpha releases, two beta releases, and two release candidates before the final release. The second new feature we'll look at in Bootstrap 4 is cards. All of the documentation about cards is available on the Bootstrap website. According to the Bootstrap 4 website, a card is a flexible and extensible content container. It includes options for headers and footers, a wide variety of content, contextual background colors, and powerful display options. Cards are so powerful, they replace three features from Bootstrap 3, including panels, thumbnails, and wells. So let's look at an example of a card in a Bootstrap web page. I have coded a card in its very simplest format here in my web browser. This is just a very simple gray border going around the outside with some text. And notice the button. The button is a new type of styling that's available in Bootstrap 4 called an outline button. Here is the code that corresponds to that block. I have separated it out on its own lines here between lines 18 and 22. So here what we have is a div with the class of card and card block. Inside of that, we have an h3 with a class of card title, a paragraph with a class of card text, and then finally our link with the appropriate button and styling classes to it. So this is the card at the very simplest way that we could possibly code it. And from here, we can add additional functionality and types of content to expand this even further. So in card number two, I've added an image to this. Here's the code for card number two. We have a div with a class of card. Notice I've taken the class of card block and I've moved it elsewhere in our document. So after the div with a class of card, we have a tag here for our image, which happens to be a horse in this particular case. This is followed by a div with the class of card block. Inside of that, we have the same h3 paragraph and link that we had from our previous example. So here's a case where we can combine our pictures along with the text that goes with that particular card. If you can combine pictures, then of course the next thing you want to do is try combining a video. So I'll show you that example next. So here's an example of a video here inside of a card. And uh, I'll show you that this is even a responsive video. Responsive video was added to Bootstrap in version 3.2, and that is carried into Bootstrap 4. So as I make my screen smaller here, you'll see the card is squishing down with the screen until I hit my breakpoint, and then you'll see that the video actually expands to fill the full width of the screen in responsive form. That is exactly the type of behavior that we want to have on a site like this. So here's the code that goes with that third card that I just showed you. So here, the difference is that we have, at lines 19 through 21, we have a div with a class of embedded responsive and embed responsive 16 by 9, which happens to be the dimensions of this particular video. That in, then includes the iframe tag here, which comes straight out of YouTube. I've added a class of embed responsive item according to Bootstrap's instruction for making a responsive video. And I removed the frame set or the frame border equals zero from that particular tag. So it's very simple to include a video as part of your cards here as well. The next thing you probably want to do is try making the card looking a little bit more pretty. Maybe you'd like to add a little bit of color to it, maybe a header and a footer. So in card number four, I've now taken the card from the previous example and I've added to it a header and a footer. And I'll show you that particular code here. Here inside of this code, what we have is line 19. You'll see that I've added a div with a class of card header. And it also has added to it a class called text hyphen success. And this particular class is designed to make the text inside of this tag look green. Down at the bottom on line 28, you'll see that I've added a div with a class of card footer. And that will provide us the footer at the bottom, as well as the fact that the text is muted, which that class is, again, a color class in Bootstrap and available to, to drop in wherever you'd like to change the color of the text. And so once again, to show you that example, here we have the green text up in the head and the muted text telling us that this post was made two days ago down in the footer. The very last thing you might want to do is add a little bit even more color to this. And so here in card number five, I've gone ahead and changed the background of the text itself to be green and changed the color of the button to be white to make it pop out a little bit more here on the screen. 
here we have the same exact code that we had before. The difference is that up here at line number 18, all I've added is a single class called card-success. And so success is the color green by default in Bootstrap. It corresponds with the other various colors like primary, secondary, danger, warning, and other colors. And so card-success is designed to take the card block itself and make the background green. And we have black text on top of that. I also changed the button styling here to button-secondary instead. And that provides us the white button. Cards are just one of the hot new features in Bootstrap 4. Be sure to sign up for email notification when the new Bootstrap 4 training title is released so you can learn everything there is to know about Bootstrap 4.